As you saw, the uh, hatch uh, first closed uh, on the Soyuz side of the docking interface, followed uh, just a minute later uh, by the closure of the uh, Poisk module hatch uh, that uh, you'll see just a moment or two from now as Oleg Novitsky uh, supervised that activity from the station side of the docking interface. Uh, that was uh, followed by a series of leak checks over the course of the past two hours. Uh, we have a tight seal uh, between the Soyuz and the International Space Station. The uh, small vestibule uh, that you see in this view from this uh, uh, tape replay from about three... We are ready to reset the status. Me mechanical contact is not eliminated. We have separation. physical separation confirmed right on time at 2:57 and 30 seconds Central Time. 2:57 and 30 seconds Central Time. 3:57 and 30 seconds Eastern Time. The Soyuz MSO2 backing away from the International Space Station. Expedition 51 now officially underway on board the complex. Yes. I'm ready to send the command. Copy. We have selected the command. Position 20 uplinked. Successful. Telemetry being uplinked uh, to the Soyuz MSO2 vehicle. The first of the uh, separation burns is scheduled uh, about a minute and a half from now at uh, 3 a.m. Central Time. That will uh, initiate a uh, small opening rate. It's, it's going to be an eight-second burn, about a half a meter per second uh, opening rate. You can see the Soyuz as it uh, slowly backs away from the Poisk module, the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. We see the whole docking interface right now on the monitor. No foreign objects there. Copy. Favore. So the interface surface is clean. In a minute and a half, stand by for the range is about 10 meters. We are moving steadily. Soyuz Commander Sergei Ryzhikov in the center seat of the descent module of the uh, Soyuz MSO2 providing updates for the Russian flight controllers here in Koryov. Two minutes after the indicator went off. Postepka. Okay. You have a go to transition to wide angle. Wide angle lens. Copy that and done. We have the depot activation. Yes, we are monitoring. Eight seconds burn. A good view of the uh, engine firing on the Soyuz vehicle. 
an eight-second burn. This is the first of two separation burns to increase uh, the opening rate by about a half a meter per second. Good image. We have, we don't have GSO-1. Now we have GSO-1-2, and we are standing by for burn number two, 11 Copy. We have 30 seconds. Left. PPO2 message. 210 PPO2. Copy. Yes. We have an increase. We have the Standing by for the second of the two separation burns, the Soyuz flying 256 statute miles over the border between northeastern uh, China and southeastern Russia. And we are moving along the U.S. U.S. And, uh, and the vi visiting vehicle officer and mission control reports a good second separation burn. So the Soyuz is on its way. It will uh, take a, about an orbit and three quarters uh, for it to reach its uh, separation distance from the International Space Station for the uh, Soyuz deorbit burn, which is a much uh, more substantial firing of the engines. That will be a four minute. 38-second retrograde firing, a braking maneuver to slow the Soyuz down by 128 meters per second, enabling it to drop out of orbit for its descent back to Earth and a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan. So you have right and I have left. Yes. The right selected. E1 command copy. Moscow, this is Favore. Go ahead. We have manifold one and two selected. We copy. There's the uh, Soyuz vehicle continuing to back away from the International Space Station. This crew of uh, Shane Kimbrough, the Expedition 50 commander, and his crewmates, Andrei Borisenko, and Sergei Ryzhikov, the Soyuz commander in the center seat of the descent module, soon to complete 173 days in space. They uh, have just departed the station that was their home for 171 days. They'll be wrapping up uh, a mission spanning 73.2 million statute miles. D-11 is not eliminated. Now D-17, G-17, and S-11 not eliminated. To off. And V-18 command, yes, that is correct. And we have switching, and the light is off. And the translational hand controller is in a transport position. And we're monitoring the KDU parameters now. 172 for bottle one. 
Shane Kimbrough now uh, has uh, also been uh, extracted from the spacecraft. 